They even gave me a free gift. So big shout out to Jeep for giving me the, uh, the opportunity to even ride in anything like that, man. So as to not to get uh, too confused on what you guys seen and what you haven't seen, this is all one side that I've been on so far from the left to the right, or should I say from the right to the left. And now we're gonna go over to the Toyota side and see what Toyota has to offer. See a lot of people around the Toyota Supra, so obviously it must be a pretty nice car. And I'm surprised at the starting point of only 43,000. You can buy a GR Toyota Supra 3.0 premium. This vehicle is getting around 22 miles per gallon in the city, 30 on the highway. I am curious about the horsepower. It has 382, so you about have the same horsepower as a almost like a scat pack pretty much but i'm sure this car weighs a whole lot less i already showed you guys the inside of one of these so i'm not going to get into this one right now but i just wanted to show you guys that this is one of uh the highlighted vehicles here at the convention show love the toyota supra <laughs> how you doing good toyota tundra wouldn't be a toyota tundra if it didn't have a dirt bike in the back Look at the interior from here. You can see that uh, light brown cream interior. And not that any other truck couldn't do it, but I won't lie, it looks pretty good on the back of the Toyota Tundra. I am a fan of the Toyota Tundra because of its reliability and its durability. These trucks are known to last well over 300K in miles, which I have no idea how much that is in kilometers, but I'm sure one of you tech guys could probably let me know. This is a 19, <laughs> And I'm dyslexic. 1794 edition Tundra. Very, very sturdy, very awesome looking vehicle. Eventually I'm gonna have to get me a truck and honestly this one might be on the list. And again, the list price on this one is 34,000. And we got something going on, man. Let's go see what's going on over here. We also have a seating area for you and let's have some fun. Now, what do you all think of typically when you think of Toyota? Got some descriptive words out there? All right, that's right. Quality, dependability, reliability are some words you use to describe your Toyota experience. And in addition to that, we have over 26 models, including some of the most uh, prolific hybrids that you can find industry-wide. So again, if you all are interested in learning some more about Toyota as well as getting some prizes, Come on over guys, we are about to have a fun show. So this is on the Supra or is this all models? All models. All man. models, all man. Models. So have a seat and we're about to have some fun. Now what Toyota did you want to hear most about? Uh, I actually own a car dealership, so uh, I'm just here to enjoy it. Um, I buy cars every single week, so uh, I like the Toyota Supra. But I'm a family man, so the Sienna is nice, the Tundra is nice, you know, okay. you know what I mean. So let's get into it. Absolutely. All right, folks. So we are starting our show here. Welcome to Toyota. Now, the Camry has been one of the best-selling cars in America for over 19 years. That combined with our new hybrid model, as well as also having all-wheel drive, is going to keep this vehicle being one of the best-selling cars in America for years to come. Now, our next favorite vehicle we have is the RAV4, which incidentally, I have a RAV4 and I absolutely love it. The hybrid system is gonna get you up to 41 miles to the gallon combined. So it sips fuel and that combined with the 69.9 cubic feet of cargo space is what is gonna keep this the best selling SUV in America for years to come. Now, folks, I don't know if you knew this, but the Tacoma is the best selling small pickup truck for the past 16 years. So I wanna encourage you all to check out the Tacoma as we have it on the floor. And as I mentioned earlier, we have over 26 different models 
with more hybrids than any car manufacturer. For a prize, can someone name one of our hybrid vehicles? Prius. Yes, sir, you've got it. Awesome. The Prius is one of our hybrid vehicles, and we also have a Prius Prime that is capable of doing pure electric miles. So it will allow you to get that federal as well as state tax incentive. Some of our other hybrids include the Corolla Hybrid, uh, the Prius Prime, the Avalon. We also have the RAV4 Hybrid, Highlander, and the RAV4 Prime. Now, I wanna talk about our maintenance program because many people don't know that we actually have one of the best maintenance programs out there. Two years or 25,000 miles of all of your oil changes, uh, tire rotations, any type of maintenance that you need is, com is with our Toyota Care and also no cost roadside assistance for two years. So if you ever find yourself needing some roadside assistance, we've got you covered. Now folks, I wanna talk about mobility. A part of starting your impossible is that we wanna make sure every person is mobile. That is why Toyota has begun to make mobility items. As you can see here, all of this is completely real. So if you wanna know more about our mobility as well as the future of Toyota, definitely chat with one of our product specialists and they can give you more information on that. Now, in addition to being mobile, who likes to go super, super fast? You guys like to go fast? Yes, I can see you, sir, here. For that excitement, here's a prize for you as well. We like to go fast here. That is why Toyota is one of the main sponsors of NASCAR. Now, our newest NASCAR driver is Bubba Wallace, and incidentally, he just won an award. You can see all of our racers here. We have Bubba Wallace, as I have mentioned, who's our newest racer, Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., Christopher Bell, and Danny Hamlin. Now folks, I want to talk to you about some of our newest vehicles that have arrived. This is our new Venza. It is exclusively hybrid. You can seat up to five people, and you get up to 40 miles to the gallon combined on that. We also have the Sienna, so if you want to get some good fuel economy as well as seat up to eight people, that's the vehicle for you, so definitely check it out and try that stow and go seating. It is a seamless process, very easy to use. Now again, Benza as well as the Sienna, um, our hybrid batteries, we do offer one of the best hybrid warranties out there. 10 year, 150,000 miles on your hybrid components. Now that combined with the three year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper, five year 60,000 mile powertrain, and two years of your complimentary assistance and maintenance, we have got you covered here at Toyota. Now folks, let's play a little bit of a game. I've got two people here, so let's see if you all can win some prizes here. This is called Toyota's Guess to Win. Super easy. I've given you all the information, so let's go through it. Can someone tell me, what is the best-selling car in America based on what I said? What are you saying, sir? Yes, it is the Camry. The Camry is the best-selling car in America. And here you can see it there, C-A-M-R-Y. So definitely check that out on the floor. Now, which new Toyota Hybrid offers room for five people along with a combined rating of 39 miles to the gallon? I mentioned it a little bit earlier. You got it for me, sir? Venza. It is the Venza. Yes, I'm gonna give it to this gentleman here because he was showing some excitement there. But sir, you know what? I'm gonna give you a special prize of this bag since you answered two of the questions. It is the Venza, folks. Now, I mentioned this a little bit earlier as well. Which driver is the newest addition to our Toyota NASCAR team? Starts with the? Bubba. Uh-oh, you got it, sir? Bubba. He's got it, it is Bubba Wallace. <laughs> thank you, Here thank you, you are. man. Thank you, thank you. Now, what type of vehicle does Toyota offer more than any manufacturer? I named a few of them. Uh, what is that type of vehicle? It's not a standard combustion engine. Hybrid. Did you say that again, sir? Hybrid. It is the hybrid system. Here's another prize for you and a Winning. friend. Awesome. Now, I also talked about our no-cost maintenance plan that covers normal factory scheduled maintenance on every new Toyota for two years or 25,000 miles. What did I name that maintenance plan called? Toyota Care. Toyota Care, yes sir. 
We will take care of all of your maintenance for two years or 25,000 miles. Here you are, sir. All right, folks, this has been our Toyota 360. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions at all, chat with one of our product specialists. We can send you a digital spec sheet on any vehicle, and I hope you all start your impossible. Enjoy your day, Orlando, and have a good day at the auto show. All right, so we won some awards. We won some goodies at the Toyota spot. We are kind of briefly going through the Toyota. To be honest with you, I'm not too, too impressed with Toyota. Even though they are good quality vehicles, they're not very impressive to look at. So I'm gonna show you this last one right here. This is a TRD. Here goes some of the aftermarket parts, or should I say stock parts that you could buy or add on to your vehicle. And this right here, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Tundra, just like the other one that we took a look at. This one is 34,000. And this is, what year is this one? This one is a 2021. This is the iForce 5.7 liter. This is more of a base model, has the cloth seats, but Toyota still did a very good job. They haven't changed much. I love the leg room that they have in the Tundra. Lots of leg room, TRD 4x4. And I don't know if I like it more in white or if I like it better in red. I think that red looks good. Red looks really good, actually. And this is that 1794 edition, like we took a look at. So this one's 34. That one says it's 34. Which one would you rather have? I'm guessing that one is the TRD 4x4 package, which didn't really look all that impressive on the inside. And this one is the 1794 edition, which it might not have two-wheel drive, which we can verify. It does not. Did someone take the knob off of this vehicle? We are here at the... <laughs> we're here at the auto show. If someone took the knob off of this vehicle, I honestly, I, I'm, I'm kind of shocked being in a place like this. I don't think people would be stealing anything from... But, you know, I guess, you know, just because you have money doesn't mean that you're not cheap. <laughs> so here goes the Subaru section. We've got a couple Outbacks. And I'm not a huge Subaru fan, to be honest with you guys, but the new body styles look pretty good. I think this is the Impreza. This is a prototype vehicle, which I don't know exactly what that means. I'm guessing this one hasn't completely came out, even though it looks like it has. Oh, it looks like the center console area is just kind of mock-up. It's not an exact. So that's what they mean. It's a prototype. They're, they're not exactly all the way finished with this, but I thought they were. I thought I saw, I saw this vehicle out on the road. But after I'm taking a better look at it, this is the Subaru all-wheel drive WRX. Symmetrical. So, don't know too much about it, but this one looks really good. Big fan of that gray color. Go back around this side. Try to get some more of the front there, because this is a prototype. So, um, there can't be that many of them. You notice the little gill there on the side. And the little wide body, it looks a little bit wider in the rear. Look at those headlights. It almost has like a SUV type look, but it's definitely a sedan. I like the little hood scoop on it. Hood scoop looks really good. The wheels look a little bit basic. They have an extra little window there in the front. It makes it uh, a little bit better when you're driving around blind corners. Not too bad. And I think this is the Scion BR2. They always have that nice little blue color. Toyota has something similar to it. So that's the WRX right there. This is the, again, the BR2. I'm gonna say it is. I won't verify here in a second. Yes, this is the BRZ. That's why I said BR2, because I thought it was a two, but it's actually a Z. Blue in color. These generally come in stick shift, I believe. And yes, this one is stick shift really nice it's a very small car though very very small car now here goes the Impreza we'll go around this way take a quick look at uh, what Subaru has to offer you know they have their outdoor theme this one looks really clean in color though I love the red again the front looks very simple on the Impreza it's not as impressive as what I thought it would have been but yet, 
You can take a quick gander on the inside and see what we see here. What do you think, sir? You like the inside? Yeah, comfortable. Not too bad, right? Oh, I like that. Looks like a fun car to drive, especially having an all-wheel drive. I bet it's fun to drive up north. I know a lot of people are a fan of Subaru, but they're more so popular up north with the all-wheel drive systems than they are down south. How you doing? Good, good. And look at that one. This one looks like the Honda Pilot of Subaru. Third row vehicle. And I'm almost positive. Yes, it is third row. I see a seat back there. It's very slim. I like the little features on Subaru. It's kind of like Jeep, the way they have these little uh, symbols. Like, look how they have there. Subaru symbol right there. You may not be able to see it, but that's a Subaru symbol right there as a side marker. All different kinds of models of Subaru here. But like I said, I'm not a big Subaru guy. Here goes a Forester. Subaru, Subaru <laughs> Wilderness. I was almost unable to pronounce that. I apologize. Subaru Wilderness. And here goes the Subaru Welcome Center. So if you guys come here, just look for the big outdoors area because that's what Subaru is all about. Making sure your outdoor experiences are uh, exactly what they should be. And you shouldn't get stuck with their all-wheel drive systems. But if you know how to drive, that is. I'm in Florida. I'm not taking any path that's not a, that's already, that's not a beaten path, I should say. So, yeah, that's about it for Subaru. Let's move on.